Mother Nature decides to cooperate. So we're down to these final, final finishing touches. We've got a lot done. Uh, we got the siding done on the four season room, hardwood on all walls on the inside. We got the barbecue roof built, and now Craig's finishing the staining on that over there. The trim on this deck was just like mind blowing. It's just so much of it, uh, but it's all coming together. We got Jeff finishing, widening the path down below, and he's already done some just amazing work around the edges here. So a couple little finishing touches, and like, booyah. Welcome back. Of course, uh, as I mentioned earlier, my wife and I are both addicted to the show because it makes you realize the wasted space that your lame old square deck takes up when you can do something amazing. Paul LaFrance joining us, host of Decked Out on HGTV. How are How you, are man? You? I am fantastic. Nice, nice to see you. Tell us about what we were looking at right there. That was beautiful. Just a little job? Yeah, just, you know, a small, a little out-of-the-box job. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of an old statement. that It's out-of-the-box. It's out-of-the-box. Well, that one really was out-of-the-box. I mean, there was like 90 boards that we bent in other and to get all those circles and curves to, to work. So how much, because I've watched the show so often, how much do you have planned before you walk into that place and, and actually assess <laughs> it and do your initial walkthrough? Because it yeah. seems like nothing, Paul. Yeah, not as much as my crew would like. Let's right. just say that. <laughs> I have a general shape and idea, and the rest of it's like, and I'll just kind of figure the rest of it out as I go. Right. And they're like, oh, God, help us all. We're going to be here Because it night. is an adventure, I mean, for you and your crew, because you guys are kind of like family, and it is... It's yeah. something that kind of unfolds as you go through the show. It does, it does. And uh, I think that they now, it's even if they, I, I don't think they would admit that they kind of like the adventure. They would never admit it because that would just encourage me to make it you more interesting. You never want to exactly. admit you like the journey That's when right. you learn something. But I know right? they do. I know, <laughs> okay, well, I let's know talk about that property a little bit more because we've got some before footage. And when you first saw, or when you first see any home, yes. and do, what goes through your mind? Is it instantaneous or do you have to kind of. It depends on the sushi on and the quality of the sushi I ate the night before. <laughs> right. that, will be, that will usually dictate a lot. Can I use your bathroom? Yeah, thank you. You know what, what is really the inspiration for me is. It boils down to who these people are. Because every house is different. The back of every home is different, which is why a deck can't be just designed and be put on any single house. Our houses are very unique. Uh, so it really, what it really boils down to me is who are, you know, who are these homeowners? Who are these people? What do they like to do? What does the inside of their house look like? And that's the key. And I will always be inside their house to know what this looks like because that's what I want to take to get my inspiration to what I want to transfer to the outdoors. Because we got into this habit. I mean, really, I'm, you know, every time I watch your show, I look outside of my deck and I go, damn it, because it's just, <laughs> it's a typical square like, it must drive you crazy when you walk into people's houses. I, I, I've said this before. I'm like, the deck is the same thing as when Clint Eastwood goes through the saloon doors onto the onto the porch of yeah. the saloon, that there's the deck. Yeah. Oh, what's, well, where's the creative, where's the creativity gone from there? Well, we cut some corners off and a no, no. We, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Look, we put a board Ooh. around the outside. Now, exactly. what, what differences do you find in this home, for example, between men and women when you're, when you're talking to the client about what you're going to do with their home? Do you have to convince one side more uh, than totally the other. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what it looks it's like. It will, it basically, it's like it's like the women of the house are basically like, creativity, tell me, tell me, tell me. And the guy is like, this is going to cost me a lot of money. You know, and he's in the back. And it's when I can reach that guy, because when I start, you know, it's like when a guy goes to, you know, I'm, I'm not a car guy. But when you sit in a, you know, for a car to me is like, is, is, is four tires and a steering wheel. Yeah. Uh, but for some guys, you know, the difference between the it's two, everything. it's yeah. everything. And they know, you know, if you're in some S-Class Mercedes, the difference between that and buying, you know, a, a, another brand. You go. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. going to say. You go is one of our sponsors. So. Well, there you go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awkward. And so, um, yeah, so th until you actually sit and take it for a drive, you realize now this isn't about money, it's about lifestyle. And, you know, so... And there are so many people that I've gone into and said, look, I'm not trying to bust your bank here. Uh, you had $10,000 to put into a deck, and, and I'm building them a $50,000 project. I'm not, I'm not, that's not, I'm not, that's not the goal for me. The goal yeah. is, look, you got to look at this differently. You, in the age and the culture that we live in now, it has never moved faster in the mm -hmm. history of yeah. time. Yeah. Like, everyone is just, like, basically hanging out, like, you know, we're going <laughs> into orbit. Yeah. No, it's just crazy. And there has never been a greater need for us as people, particularly Western culture, mm -hmm. to have that place of rest. To have that zen, that, yeah. that feeling. And, we need and it, the man. other thing that people don't realize that I've really learned from your show is the quantity of material that's available. Yes. Uh, the things that you can do now that yeah. could never be done before. Exactly. In, especially in outdoor space where weather comes it, into play. It's a revolution because now people are starting to get, you know, uh, they're getting smart, they're getting hip to the fact that. Things are changing and people don't have the time to travel 
the money for you know the escape into the mountains. You know, yeah. they just did, that's not what they have anymore. So now it's how can I can I actually use this postage stamp little, little tiny backyard space that I've been given. Uh, yeah, you can. Because yeah. the funny thing is, if you don't open your mind, that that money that you've spent on that little tiny piece of real estate, especially when you're here in Vancouver, if you don't use it, what's the point? Exactly. And I find here on the West Coast, and I don't know if it's the same on the East Coast, that you rarely ever see people outside on their decks, on their patios, because they don't utilize it's not, it. It's not welcoming. If our houses were like that, the inside... <laughs> you'd you know, never want to be there. You'd never want to be there. <laughs> yeah. So, you know... The the you know the, the square pressure treated box with the plastic furniture and the barbecue thrown into the corner you is just is, described my dad. Is exactly. Is, and <laughs> exactly. And how many people do exactly? <laughs> yeah, do? They're like that's he's me. He's describing it, and he's like, God, like that's my bingo, dad. Bingo, you got it. And right how right. is it with men and their barbecues? Oh, you have it's, to have a barbecue. Listen, I'm not. It's Case about fire. Point. It's fire and killing things. It's a caveman thing. It's yeah. a Neanderthal thing. You're never going to. You really incorporate eat. them so well all the time. You make sure that yeah. there is yeah. a place to cook and entertain and and they. Can be very eloquent, yeah. but it still boils down to kill, to cooking dead animals. Can I you, ask, whether you kill them or yourself or not is relevant. Maybe the question that I should have asked: How, how did the show even come to be? I mean, because you, we've got all these shows and everything, and, and most people do think of the deck as being kind of a. Yeah. How did it actually get started? The, I love the story of this. I mean, uh, I was on a. It was I was actually on uh, breakfast television in Toronto, and I was doing a miracle makeover, and so we were transforming the front of a house, and uh, and as, I was a musician. So I spent a lot of time on stage, a lot of time out in front of people. So I wasn't, you know, the camera never freaked me out, apparently. I'm fine with you. You're good. I'm good. We're good. <laughs> so, uh, so there was a bunch of other contractors involved. And it just so happened that the morning that this thing aired, uh, a gentleman by the name of Mike Sheeran, who uh, owns Marketech Films, he's the executive producer of the show, very good friend of mine, very cool guy, just happens to be watching that morning. And, uh, you know, all the other contractors, as, you know, the host of the show comes up to the interview them, they're all like, yes, we put in rocks and trees. Look, look at what we have done. <laughs> and I'm there in my leather jacket leaning up against the deck going, what's up? What's going on? You know, come talk to me. <laughs> I put some curves. Yeah, look what I did. You know, I put a diamond inlay, a piece of slate in there. What do you think of that? So... And so he was like, that guy needs his own show. And, you know, so a week later we had coffee and three well, years later we had a show. It Unbelievable. worked. And you can watch the second season of Decked Out. It's premiering Tuesday, April the 24th, 10 o'clock on HGTV. Don't miss it and find out what you can do differently for your outdoor space. Mm -hmm. And once again, thanks to our friends at Yugo <laughs> for bringing us this segment. Thank you, Yugo. <laughs> Thank you, Yugo. We're going to take a break.